Birria is one of the greatest gifts Mexico has offered the world. I have done tacos, burgers, beef wellington, and even birria sandwiches. That is how amazing this marinade is. And today we are adding one more to the list, which might honestly be the top tier. Now in order to get started, the first thing we need to do is to make the marinade. And it is ridiculously easy and here's how. Into a pesto and mortar I threw in some garlic, crushed them up into a paste, then I added a little bit of ginger, mixed everything together and we should have something like this. The next important ingredient is tomato. You want to use one that is kind of ripe. This will give some nice sweetness to the sauce. Into a skillet, I like to throw in some olive oil, followed by some onions. Cook that until you get a nice golden brown color. Then we want to immediately throw in the tomatoes. Let it simmer down for about 2 minutes. As that was happening, I went ahead and got some peppers. You can literally use any kind of peppers you like, but there is one that is a must. We're talking about the guajiro peppers. This will not only give the birria its unique flavor, but also color. Another step I like to take is to lightly fry them up on a skillet. This does not taste take long. We're talking about 2-3 to three minutes. Because once that's done, immediately they go into the pot. Followed by the garlic paste we just made, a good amount of oregano, some cumin, black pepper, apple cider vinegar, and a tiny bit of cinnamon. Now mix everything together and combine the ingredients. You see, we are trying to develop a little bit of flavor. At the same time, make everything nice and soft so that we can throw it into the blender. Because once you have thrown everything in, blend everything on high, and your birria marinade is done. It does not get any easier than that, friends. And remember, just like always, all of the ingredients will be in the description down below for you. Because if you have never tried this marinade, I highly recommend. It is delicious on everything. But for today, we chose this, short rib, one of my favorite cut of beef. Now we want to develop as much flavor as possible onto this. Birria will definitely help get there, but there's nothing like a good old char. And the easiest way to do so is to take it outside and put my flamethrower to work. This is like painting with fire. Not only is it super easy to do, but it is fun. The longer and hotter you go, the more char flavor you will have. Because once I was done and I was happy with the crust, this is what I was left with. A nice beautiful short rib ready to go. Talking about that, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook it sous vide. So first I threw in the short ribs, followed by that beauty and marinade we just made. Then I went ahead and vacuum sealed it and it was now ready to be cooked. Talking about that, I chose the temperature of 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 hours. This will cook them to perfection. Because the very next day I went ahead and opened up the bag and drained all of that incredible liquid. This will be our consomme. It is flavor on top of flavor. Even if you don't use the whole thing now, you can always freeze it and use for other dishes. And by this time, my short rib was fully cooked. So I opened up the bag, took it out, and I only wish you could smell this. It is intoxicating everybody. I can tell you right now, this is going to be incredible. The bone comes out like nothing. Once that was done, the next thing to do was to go ahead and shred the whole beef. And now if you need any type of adjustment is the time. Mine was missing a little bit of salt, so I went ahead and added. Then of course, you can always add a little bit more of that marinade sauce. Now this is good by itself, but we all know we need a few other ingredients. The first one is this one, Oaxaca cheese. If you don't have access to this cheese, mozzarella will work just fine. The very next ingredient we need to use is this. It is the crunchy element that is made in Crunchwrap. But if you take a look at it, it's literally a tortilla that has been fried up. Now one of the most important ingredients is gonna be the tortilla. As you can see, these tortillas are tiny. Even though they're corn, which is what I like, it's just not gonna work. But I was able to find a humongous one. Now you're probably wondering where this one is from. It is from Chipotle. I did not know you could just order some. They'll sell it for a dollar each. To assemble, we first start with the tortilla, followed by the Oaxaca cheese, then a generous amount of short rib. Let's not forget about the birria sauce, our crunchy element, whichever one it might be, then a generous amount of sour cream. I'm using Mexican crema, then a little bit of cilantro, followed by some white onions, and the only thing left to do is to go ahead and close it up. Now to finish this up, I like to oil my pan with the grease that came out of the birria sauce. Now all there's left to do is to lay it down, put a nice beautiful color on it, and my birria crunch wrap is done. This is addicting, and most of the things can be made ahead of time. I'm telling you friends, this is amazing. Don't believe me? Well, you're about to find out right now. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful dish today, gentlemen. Are you guys feeling hungry? Hey, we're hungry, but where's the side dish? Mm -hmm. When you make something incredible, you don't need no side dish. All right, okay, fair enough. Okay, <laughs> okay. Here's the deal. This one, there's no side dish because, uh, you know, it's my take on fast food. What's your favorite fast food? Taco Bell, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you think I don't know Leo? I know Leo. Taco Bell, baby. <laughs> you? Probably McDonald's, bro. I know. Just something Which quick. One? Plain cheeseburger. Yep. What do you like or what's your favorite thing? You always gotta go for the $5 cravings box. Aside from that, I always add a side of 
crunch wrap to it. Crunch wrap. Oh, okay, okay. Crunch wrap. Your favorite. Always, I always add it. No, no I love crunch wrap, crunch wrap, but I go for the savings. Nothing wrong with savings. Come on, baby. With that being said, this is my take on it. I mean, if this is not, look, I mean, oh, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on, on, everybody. Come on, man. Ah, this looks good. Come on, man. First, no sauce, and then we're gonna use the beauty for sauce. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh. Uh, this is cheating. Hmm. This is not supposed to be allowed. Sometimes oh, the simplest thing in life are the best, everybody. This is so easy to make. It's ridiculous. Guga, I love you and I hate you at the same time. <laughs> I love you because you gave me this amazing, delicious dish. I hate you because you ruined Taco Bell for me. <laughs> and I love Taco Bell so <laughs> much, man. No, Taco Bell is easy to get. This doesn't come very easy. You got to make it, Leo. Taco Bell ain't got nothing on this right here, though. Wow. So savory. The meat is like butter, wow. okay? It's yeah. extremely soft and tender. A Taco Bell crunch wrap wants to be this when it grows up. This has the most perfect balance of all of the flavors that you're supposed to get with a crunch wrap. It's nice and beefy. There's plenty of juice that comes out of it. It has an amazing depth of flavor to it that just makes such a flavorful bite. I'm never gonna look at a crunch wrap from Taco Bell the same way again, and for that, I'm sad. Ah, uh, no, don't be sad. Let's do a dip, because I wanna know how does it taste. This guy already went with a dip. Are you all right? You having a hard time? The dip makes it difficult I mean, afterwards. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the dip and let you guys know how it is. Go for it too, Leo, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh my God. When you add this consomme, it just takes it to a whole nother level, man. It's that flavor that you know is not good for you, but you know that it's good for your soul. Don't eat this often, but when you do, make sure you enjoy it. It adds such an amazing mouthfeel, plus that nice, incredible flavors from that birria consomme. It adds almost like a little bit of sweetness to the overall savory feeling of the crunch wrap. So nice. Anyway, guys, these are the results. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always under the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.